Well, sea levels are rising and the effects being felt right here in Maryland. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. At City Dock in Annapolis, residents cringe with the mere mention of storms or full moons just because of how often the area floods. And it's no surprise flooding becoming a bigger issue for people up and down the East Coast. WJZ live in Annapolis at 530 tonight. Rachel Carden joins us with what's being done to combat climate change here in our state and in other cities that are at risk. Rachel. Rick, Vic, at least here in Annapolis, there is a short-term, intermediate, and a long-term plan. That long-term plan being to raise all of city dock. That'll happen in the next three to four years, but it'll cost millions. The impact is hard to ignore if you live along the coast or in a low-lying area. Climate change is real, that the sea is uh, rising, it is heating up, um, and if we don't do something about it, we are going to be underwater. Annapolis Mayor Gavin Buckley says the city is trying to prepare for sea level rise by improving the infrastructure at City Dock. To block up the uh, storm drains in Ego Alley, put uh, backflow preventers on them, and then behind the storm drains, we in inserted sump pumps. Anne Arundel County has 530 miles of coastline, so putting money into saving that resource is important at the local and federal levels. We have to confront climate change. Um, and we also have to deal with the impacts that are already here and now. Not just here, but across the state and along the East Coast, flooding, tidal surge, and damaging storms have become more frequent. Residents have seen it. Mainly because of the, the full moon or a special moon, um, but we've seen some really, really high tides down there. Probably like, you know, five, five times, maybe sometimes 10. Some of the funds from the multi-trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure bill currently still being voted on in Congress and backed by Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen could come to our state to help with projects like this one. Large scale uh, efforts against climate change ultimately but at a city level uh, at a micro level yeah you know perhaps like updated infrastructure. Now, in speaking of some of those long-term help to that problem, Senator Van Hollen mentioned he wants to have the Polluters Pay Climate Fund Act, that bill, passed into law, which would make some of these larger companies that emit harmful greenhouse gases, they would be fined for doing so. And then that money would then be given to different states, even here in Maryland, to help fund some of the projects that are happening strictly because of sea level rise. We're live in Annapolis. I'm Rachel Corden for WJZ.